Yo, you, yeah, you right there. You new? Subscribe, man. <laughs> Players on this Mad Ants roster could make the jump to the NBA someday. Howie Carter, not one of them. Yeah, you know, Carter's a very talented player, <laughs> yeah. but he doesn't have a standout skill that will land him on a, an NBA roster. He and knows it, but just appreciates the pro Like, comment. <laughs> And Flying Dragon coming over from China, just like AI on the Mad Ants did. The two, Whoa. they had faced off against <laughs> each other, uh, had some great battles Hustle, from what baby. I've heard. And maybe that... Show your butt some love, man. <laughs> maybe. Hey, you know it. Even though your little girlfriend downtown got your brain off. Don't you dare bring her into this. Whoa. Don't you dare talk about her. Whoa. Don't you dare. Whoa, 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 whoa. Touch the nerve. Try it again. I dare you. Hey, hey! Knock it off! Knock it off, guys! You lay one hand on him and you're benched against the Vipers, okay? You too, Marcus. I'm serious. Okay, let's do this. Let's do this. So give him three assists, okay. Okay. Most exciting part of the G League this year. The NBA is not far away. Oh, hey, yeah, yo, yo. Check out what your boy said about your boy. Hey, hey, man, get that phone out of my face, Marcus. Come no, on. Wait, no, come on. You're going to hear about it anyway. I mean, it's everywhere. Look, Corey Harris ain't the only player in the NBA. Whoa, whoa, look, look, look. It's not just Corey Harris saying it. All of the Lakers are retweeting it. <laughs> The timing could not be better for me. I mean, I got scouts coming to the stands. They don't want to miss the show. This is like chess. So who's running space in whose head now, huh? Yo, 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 yo. I don't want to disrupt your flow there, Bobby Fisher, but the scout ain't here for you. He's here for the Flying Dragon. Please, I would have heard about Listen, the Flying Dragon. He's the Heat's new forward from China, and he is knocking on the door of a 48-inch vertical. You're talking about Han Shi? Huh? Yeah, the Flying Dragon. Yeah. He was on the Jets in China. I, I guarded him when he played us in Shanghai. He showed me up then, but I know his game now. I can take him. No, 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 no. The dragon is mine. See, this ain't about just showing off some scouts, Marcus. This is about winning the game, man. Hey, hey. <laughs> this dude, bro. Forget about him. He may be here to scout the dragon. Doesn't mean you can't take his attention. Take it. Yeah, but I can't beat the dragon by myself. <laughs> but your game plays specifically to his weakness. So I'm going to set you up all night, and we're going to take that dragon down together. <laughs> all right. Good. Good evening, and welcome, everyone, to another edition of Mad Ants Basketball. I'm Blake Suniga, alongside Tim Swartz and Brian Benefitemi. We have a road matchup tonight between Fort Wayne and Sioux Falls. You know, the big story tonight, it's the matchup that goes back uh, go. to China. AI will see a familiar face as the Sky Force recently gained the services of the Flying Dragon, formerly of the Chinese team, the Jets. And you know the two okay. of them will want to prove something out there tonight. And we'll see if having seen the Flying Dragon in person before, it gives AI and the rest of the Mad <laughs> okay. Ants an advantage. But it should be a tough one either way. It's the matchup that fans of both sides have been waiting for. And without a doubt, Ooh. Sioux City has been energized nice. since bringing the Flying Dragon onto the roster. Boy, when you add a dynamic athlete like the Flying Dragon, it brings a spark to the whole team. We saw the same effect happen when the Mad Ants got AI. Now here is Tatum. Here's AI. 
Good for the basket, starting off one for one with that shot. The way that AI has come out firing in his first few goes with the Mad Ants, there is talk that he could garner NBA attention. Exactly, Blake. If he keeps performing like he has and doesn't slip up, you have to think NBA teams simply can't ignore him. But, uh, you know, the one thing is he can't get caught up in that. Just needs to go out and keep improving his game. Take it day by day. Now here is Han. Over Tatum. That one yeah. a little long. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Yeah, Plenty of yeah, space. Baby. And yes. again, it's Fort Wayne. Well, you might remember Paul Tatum had some time in the NBA, and there's a chance he can make it back. A, a few good performances at the end of the season, and there's a chance he gets called back up to the NBA. On the wing, Han Chi. Again, the miss by Han Chi. Not his best quarter as far as scoring. We'll see if he can get back on track. Inside, count it. Nice. The ball movement on this run has been fantastic, and it's a big part of why they've been able to get good looks. Absolutely, the defense unable to react quickly enough to, to deal with their passer. Now here is Han, and so he earns a trip to the line. Official saw the contact, and he'll shoot two. It's on Paul Tatum. Active and athletic, Han Chi is a tough challenge defensively. But let's see what he does at the line. You don't get the name Flying Dragon by staying on the ground. He is sporting a 48-inch vertical. You combine that leaping ability with his height, and he might be one of the most feared aerial artists in short time. Well, that's one way he can finish, but, but far from the only way. He's got all types of tricks up his sleeve. From down in the wow. low post, it goes. Yeah, Good job by Han Shi, not just roaming around the perimeter, he wants to be right in the thick of the action. And as you said with Flying Dragon, 48-inch verticals are something you just don't see. No, you oh. really don't see that too much. And to be able to get up like that with the frame that he has, there is nobody who can leap like that on this level or the next level. Look, the NBA is just waiting for the rest of his game to catch up, and he's going to be entertaining yes. for years to come. No doubt. With the numbers he puts up, you figure it was just a matter of time. NBA teams have their eye on Young. Not surprising at all, given his burst. Smooth, the latest baby. rumor is that Where the Lakers have the most interest in him Pretty right now. Love, but a lot of teams could be looking at him late in the NBA season. So it's both teams too, making substitutions here. Sioux Falls trailing here. Here's Keith. Pass to Evans. Oh, oh, oh. Now Barton. Shot clock at five. Oh. And the dunk by David Benjamin. Way to finish and cut into that lead a little bit. We may have to pause the game. The basket's still shaking. Yeah, he got as much power as he could behind that two-hander. Well, a handful of players on this Mad Ants roster could make the jump to the NBA someday. Howie Carter, not one of them. Yeah, you know, Carter's a very talented player, but he doesn't have a standout skill that will land him on a, an NBA roster. He knows it, but just appreciates the process of trying to improve his game. And so here is Sioux Falls. They trail by seven. And out of bounds, the Mad Ants will take it. What you doing, man? And here is Carter. AI outside. Right wing. Grace with it. Evans there. Oh my God. And here they come. The pull up. And there's another one for the Sky Force. And here are the Mad Ants. Leading by five. The one thing with Coach Keller is that he wants to impact more than just basketball knowledge to his players. Absolutely. Coach Keller is of that vein where he wants his players to experience life Whoa. outside of basketball, to be well-rounded oh, men in the community. I know it's something that the players get behind and appreciate from him. And he's just such a great coach on and off the court. To the middle. Here's AI. And the layup's good off the glass. 
So far, so good for them at the offensive end in the early going. Their field goal percentage is terrific, exactly the start they were hoping for. Now here's Keith. Pass to Evans. Six on the shot clock. To the wing on the left. From deep. Keith can't get uh. it to go. And that does it for the first quarter. The Mad Ants on top, leading by seven. Mm -hmm. After this break, we'll be back with the start of the second quarter on 2K Sports. Now the second quarter getting ready to start up. And uh, guys, what's your take on the Mad Ants so far? They've come out of the gate strong and put in a solid first quarter. A lot of good looks for them on offense so far. Just quality shots. Now here's Keith. Come on, stop, stop dancing. Pass to Day. Stop dancing. Shoots over Carter. Day no good. Come well, on. the Mad Ants were excited come on. Come on. Come on. to land AI, Shoot. and he's continued to improve his game since he's arrived. He has put in work and is razor nice. sharp in this focus. Sometimes a player is a late bloomer, and that might be the case with AI, given how he's stepped his game up. Here's Keith. Evans with the ball. Puts up a three. Day with the ball. And this is big for your that? offense. When your big man can see the floor and make plays for his teammates, nice job by Evans. AI outside. Pass to Trigg. Now Carter. Trigg, back to Carter. AI with it. Over Benjamin. And it's Carter missing. To the paint. It's tipped. Day with the bucket. Oh. Hard to get that shot off with the size difference there. That makes them a, a really tough individual matchup, especially in the post. That's a big challenge he's taking on. Going in there with the big boys. Great job. Hey, he's at the big boys table now. And almost four minutes gone in the second quarter of play. Come on. Now here's AI, guarded by Roberts. Pass to Tatum. Shoot it. Good, yes. and the assist goes to AI. You know, road life in the G League, it, it can be rough. Getting wins as an away team, it's no easy task. This travel isn't as easy as it is in the NBA. A lot can go wrong on the road, and it feels like everything is stacked against you at times. And Han gets it to go. What a job man. he's doing here. His second quarter has been even better than his first, and that was a great quarter. The Mad Ants leading. AI outside. Pass to Tatum. Young, guarded by Roberts. Aye, aye, aye. Stolen by Splitter. Now here's Barton to the inside. A clear look for Han Chi. Here's Roberts. Wow, a huge basket to tie the game. Like wow. the activity from Roberts. Good anticipation in terms of knowing where to be on the boards. Well, you, you might have seen that article about Marcus Young recently. He's certainly a star in the G League. Yeah, when you have the offensive talent that Young does and are as driven and ambitious oh as he God. is, Turn you're over. destined for wow. great things. Definitely a name to watch in the G League. Yeah, one to follow, oh, no. definitely. The shot yeah. by Barton is no good. Come on, shoot it. For three, nice. Paul Tatum. Oh my and God. the first half comes to a close in a tie game. And don't go away after the break. We'll see you right back here for the start of quarter number three. The start of the second half getting underway. Both teams battling hard through the first two quarters. Yeah. What a game we're seeing from Han Chi. 
he has that slasher mentality. We saw all the evidence of that in the first half as he just got to the rim again and again and kept scoring. He's got that great first step, and he must have woken up on the right side of the bed today because he looks fast out there. At least somebody woke up on the right side of the bed. Yeah, I had a rough night sleeping. And Flying Dragon coming over from China, just like AI on the Mad Ants did. The two, oh. they had faced off against <laughs> each other, uh, had some great battles That's from what baby. I've heard. And maybe that will uh, carry over to this side of the Pacific. Well, we can only hope. Now Come here's on, Lee. Come on. Come on. Now Han. Over Tatum. Good work defensively uh -huh. by Paul Tatum. That's some more rugged play from them inside. They have a decent edge in rebounds. And that hard work oh. on the boards needs to continue. That could be what swings this game. Well, you can't help but notice the raw athleticism of Flying Dragon. Can just blow by anybody. Yeah, Flying Dragon's leaping ability is what jumps out at you, but he's very shifty and yeah, flexible, baby. and he has a fantastic first step. One of the nice. best athletes in all the G League. It's such a, a treat to watch. Such great patience and decision making for them offensively today. I love it. Absolutely. I mean, the ball movement, it's been outstanding. It helps your offense, and they're piling up the assists. The Flying Dragon, we know that he starred in China, but he's now come to the G League to polish his skills with his sights set on the National Basketball Association. Wow. And good on he's both. Good, man. Well, he's he figured good. out it was just a matter of time before the Flying Dragon came over to the States. The numbers and performances he put up in China were absurd. And you just know that a team was going to take a closer look at what he could do over here on this side of the ah. box. On the wing, Benny Ducey, guarded by Calderon. Lee outside. Shoots over Carter. And it's off the back of the rim. No good. And as you said, it was the Heat and Sky Force that made the move to get Flying Dragon. And the Heat were very interested in him, and they feel he has a lot to contribute to their team. Might take some time yeah, for him to adjust, but that's why they sent him to Sioux Falls man. first to ease that transition. They see big things ahead for the Flying Dragon. Pass to Starks. Now here is Keith, defended by Carter. Now Evans. Five on the clock. The basket drops, and he gets fouled on the shot. One wow. free throw coming his way. Wow. They're just killing them in the paint. You yeah. can say that again. I mean, the defenders aren't being nearly aggressive enough down low. They're just killing them in the paint. Thank you. Just talking with AI and the rest of the team, you get the, the sense that AI has really started to find himself on, and maybe more importantly, off the court. Having a few games under his belt with his team has put him at ease, and the results are visible on the floor. Now here's Keith. Pass to Evans. That one wow. goes in. I was never that good at math, but this math is simple. Get the ball to guys where they have the best chance of converting. And for Evans, that's got to be the painted area. And for the Fort Wayne coaching staff, this is what they hope nice. for with AI. Sometimes for a guy like AI who has bounced around, it's just really about finding the right environment. It seems he is starting to come to peace with himself, with this group, and you can see it in his play and in his attitude, really. That can be huge for someone who has the potential that he has. Now here is Keith. Day. Again, the Sky Force score. Come on, we can't lose, man. A little under two and a half minutes off the clock now in the third quarter. Come on. Uh -huh. Here's Carter. And he uses wow. the glass on nice. the layup. And the lead goes right back over. What a seesaw battle we've got here. Absolutely. This game's right there for the I taking, but neither guy, team can grab it. Somebody's got to take charge. Let's see how it plays out. Now here is Evans. Pass to Keith. Now Day. Here's Keith. This one for three. The shot, no good. I wonder what the score of this game would be if they were pulling down all these rebounds. That's a good question. Whoa. It's been their edge, no doubt. And in a close game like this, you just look for every edge you oh my can God, find. I can't make it, man. 
He misses the free throw. When AI declared for the draft after his freshman year, a lot of people thought it was a mistake, and it probably yeah. was, to be honest. I but I do think getting passed yeah. over in the draft fueled the fire in yeah. him. Now here's Keith. Day with it, pass to Keith. Jennings, he's guarded by Grace. Puts it up from 17. Jennings uh, misses. Hustle, baby. The man hits with the lead. Here's Carter. Grace with the bucket. Getting the job done inside is a priority for Grace. He has to be effective in the painted area. Now five seconds separating the shot clock and the game clock. Splitter covered by Boss. Come on. Splitter with it. Grace on him. Pass to Keith. Shoot Shoots on. over Carter. The Sky Force again can't hit. Wow. It counts. It counts, guys. That is why you want this guy. <laughs> Some free points nice. right there at the buzzer. That was the wow. definition of a prayer. And it was answered. The points coming in bunches as we wrap up the third quarter. It's We've got a great game on our hands as we welcome you back. So both teams making some changes here. Just over a minute played here in the fourth. Tatum on defending. Back to Tatum. Pass to AI. Back to Tatum. Down low. AI. <laughs> Oh, it down. Good work to tack some more points onto this yeah, one. Some more possessions just like that, and they'll do more than sustain the lead. They'll start to pull right, away. Good, that just be a little bit more aggressive and consistent offensively. Here's Han. Kind of and thing, once man? again, off the mark by Sioux Falls. And that's been the story of the game. The rebounding has been very one-sided. Nice. And they've been on the winning end. Nice. I'm a huge effort guy, and because effort is one thing you can always control. Credit this lead to force of will. What is he doing? Pass wow. to Ducey. Just five to shoot. The 19 foot shot. Mm -hmm. it's me. The Sky Force again can't hit. AI outside. <laughs> and AI throws it down. Do you know how right, competitive man. AI is? And you know how yeah, strong yeah, yeah. a player he is when he matches that competitiveness with aggression. Great work to attack the rim. That's what I do, man. That's what I do. Now here is Han. Defense right on him. Over Tatum. That one is yeah. off. And Fort Wayne the other way now. Inside. <laughs> oh my god. Out of bounds. It'll go to the Sky Force. Aye, aye, aye. Come on, man. Both teams deciding to change it up. And we're about three minutes into the fourth quarter now. Now here is Han. He's covered by Tatum. <laughs> Lee outside. He always did bad shot. With the floater, and the layup is good. As a point guard, this is an important shot to have in your arsenal. Lee, he, he stops short and floats it over the top. Here's Tatum. Pass to Carter. AI. Come on. If you're just tuning in, well, oh. we've played about three and a half minutes into the fourth quarter here. Yeah, Here's Han. I'm like it, man. Oh. And really a big oh. part of shot blocking is timing. Oh my AI God, is showing that he's capable wow. of rejecting shots. That's how That's you make stupid. a steal count. Turn it into a quick slam on the other end. It really was a case of great defense triggering some instant offense. He's causing some havoc out there. Woohoo! 
pass to Tatum. Now here's Carter, Han defending. Down to five on the shot clock. For three, Paul Tatum. Good. And he is so close to AI. Shot clock cheese, They're baby. not letting up, guys. They Pretty just smooth. keep coming at him. And, and I think it's safe to say you that lead is too big to overcome at this point. Just not enough time on the clock. Yeah, absolutely. Lee, left side. Expanding his range. It's good from long range. The rapid fire three is coming from everywhere. I wasn't sure they should try to get the three right back like that, but hey, it worked out for them. To the left side wing. Back to Carter. Pass to AI. Tatum with the ball. And here is AI using his post oh, moves to get the two <laughs> points. This is a serious game clinching run there. Bro. They are just not backing Bro. off. What's they're they're going to close this one out in style. What a surge. Give them credit it's just to, to finish this one off. Here's Vaughn. Yep. Rebounded by the Mad Ants. Switching baskets must have really thrown him off because yep. he can't get anything to fall this half. To the paint. Aye, aye, aye. And the ball Ooh. out of play. The Sky Force will have it. Boy, did they ever make a mess out of that one. A terrible turnover. Yeah, what? And that's the buzzer. Matt Ants win. They showed a lot of grit to come in here and walk out with a road win. And coming out of Sioux Falls with a road win, it is no easy task. The Sky Force were, were fired up with Flying Dragon added to the team, but the Mad Ants were able to stay in control and put things away. And I think the Mad Ants are the type of team to elevate their own level of play in order to spoil the debut of someone like Flying Dragon. Fantastic <laughs> effort from them. And some momentum being built for the Mad Ants <laughs> with this win. That'll be it for us here in South Dakota. For Tim, Brian, and everyone here, I'm Blake Suniga saying thanks for joining us. We'll see you next time. That's a good game. Yo, AI. So, you the big scout that everyone's been talking about. That's what you think, man. Am I finally walking? Look, Coach Keller might seem like he has a bag of marbles in his head, but the dude knows the game, <laughs> man. Doesn't really answer my question, but... I'm here, aren't I? Something's still missing. Look, Marcus Young. Kid can play. A lot of eyes on him, too. What's with you, man? I, I try to ask you a direct question, and all I get is this runaround. Like, I don't understand. There you go. Like, the world owes you a spot in the NBA. <laughs> all I do is work. That's all I do. And I just can't get a break. That's my problem. You said it yourself. Something is missing. Don't ask me for answers you already have. Well, so Marcus has this all figured out, and I don't? Maybe. Look, I like Marcus Gang. I've never talked to him. I don't know him. I do know you. People are starting to talk about you. You're making people's boards. Scouts are looking at you. But there are a lot of other guys out there, too. And what separates you? Why should I pick you over Marcus? Boom. Um... What are we doing right this now? Is, this is my, my teammate, um, Howie. Yeah, I know who he is. His form is impeccable. It's a work of art. <laughs> the rest of his game is basically rec league, but <laughs> his form should be taught in books. You're Big Tooney, right? I am. Well, why is my hand going through you like it does with other ghosts? No, no. <laughs> We're not doing... No. The point is, AI, you're close. Just one missing piece. What is it? He did say that thing about my jumper, right? I, di I didn't just dream that? Who raised you? That's what I want to know. Oh, because I'm going to make my future no. children so sick of that story, it's going to be great! <laughs> Listen, I want you to start selling what Marcus Young is going to be six months from now. Then they're going to turn around real quick. Exactly. See, you and I are going to do great things. Watch. So I'm in Texas right now. We have one more game against the Vipers, but then after that, I want you to... Yeah, uh, I'll call you back tomorrow. I didn't hear you.
It's your room too. You can take a call. Yeah, well, I just didn't want to take it in the hallway because everybody would hear me asking, like, Marcus, what's going on, you know? <laughs> you know how it is. Yeah, yeah, man, I get it. Yeah. Only a matter of time. All right, well, um, you know what? I'll let you get back to it. And uh, I'm sure you got a few more phone calls nah, to make. No, nah, no, nah, I got too much energy. I'm about to go get a run in. You can take the room. Plus, you look real tired anyway. You know, there's more to this game than taking the last shot and getting your numbers. Corey Harris taught me that. Oh, really? Tell me more. Were you guys on the beach with the stars? <laughs> man, go take your walk, man. I met plenty of people like you, AI. You know nothing about me, bro. You think you're special. You think the whole world revolves around your thoughts, your feelings. I got a family and people counting on me just like you. There's 491 players in the NBA. Most of them, like Corey Harris, they like blue blood, so everything was just handed to them. The rest of us, we down here, we gotta fight for the few spots that they didn't take. So if the only chance I have is by stepping over my competition, I'm gonna do that by any means necessary. And right now, that's you. You better believe if I gotta go through you, I'm gonna slice you right down the middle and clear that path. Doesn't have to be that way, man. It does have to be that way. And you know it. Even though your little girlfriend downtown got your brain off. Don't you dare bring her into this. Whoa. Don't you dare talk about her. Whoa. Don't you dare. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Touch the nerve. Try it again. I dare you. Hey, hey! Knock it off! Knock it off, guys! You lay one hand on him, and you're benched against the Vipers, okay? You too, Marcus. I'm serious. I don't know what started this, and I don't care. It ends right here, right now. You got me? Do you got me? Yes, coach. Yeah, coach. Come on, guys. I came up coaching high school volleyball, okay? And those kids never gave me this amount of grief. Not once! <laughs> By the way, it's a very complicated sport. Don't know that I ever fully got it. That's beside the point. Get your gear. You're rooming with Howie now. Oh, dude, awesome. Yeah, we just got to get you some earplugs. Oh, Howie, do us all a favor, dude. Go to the drugstore, get one of those nasal strips, staple it to your nose. Well, no, Doc says it's hereditary. It's so. not hereditary, dude. I'm telling you, okay? You have a serious medical condition. And the rest of you guys, why don't we try to act like adults, okay? It's clearly hard for us to behave like basketball players, so let's just be adults. All right, let's go, guys. Let's go hit the showers. Nikki. No. I'm not. Oh, it smells like exhaustion and sadness in here. You're lucky I got some medication. Uh, why does this look like something I need a alibi for? I know how you get hard on yourself, okay? So I was walking back from the pharmacy, anti-snore strips in hand, when I ran into this guy in the alley. And he looked tweaky, but he knew a guy who called a guy, and... <laughs> BAM! <laughs> whoa, 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 hey. Pretty sure fireworks are illegal here, bro. Not when we're five miles from the Mexican border. Mm, somehow that makes him sound more illegal. Will you relax? Fireworks are legal within city limits, and since we're in the middle of nowhere, you can lighten up, my friend. By lighting up. What do you say? Uh, uh, nah. Nah, man. I'm gonna stay in and get some rest tonight. I'm sorry. Hey, but you go, okay? You have fun. Come on! 
I'm only gonna ask one more time. Okay, ask me again. Come outside and light some more fireworks with me. No. <laughs> You'll change your mind. <laughs> okay. You will. Have fun. The annual Hidalgo Rotary Club dinner. We hope to see you there, cowboy. For those of you who like tacos and the Rotary Club, this is a no brainer. That's the Hidalgo Rotary Club Taco Night fundraiser, cowboys and gal girls. Next Tuesday at Howie. <laughs> hey, come I on. I said no. Quiet down. I'm not any louder than the fireworks are gonna be. Look, I'm just trying to make sure the coach doesn't notice us. I'm already on thin ice. Let's be honest, man. We played like garbage tonight. We were uptight. We were stiff. That the road's getting to us. For the good of the team, man, you need to chill. Right, right. Blow Listen, some steam. I'm having a great time. I just want to make sure I keep having a great time by not getting caught. Oh well then. Here's a big old double shot of good time right here. I light one end. You like the other. Amen. Let's not hit the bus. Five, four, four three, two, two one. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> I told you. Oh, I think I'm in love. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, uh, uh, Howie. Uh, Yo, Howie. Oh, oh Howie. Oh, God. Oh, uh, yeah, I, I think it's time we, uh... Yeah, we're inside. Okay, let's just say that this didn't happen. What didn't happen? Nothing happened. Run! All right, everybody, listen up, listen up. <laughs> Unfortunately, the fire department says the cause of this fire was most likely fireworks. Some kind of projectile. <laughs> Pow! <laughs> okay, and I'm especially bummed because I lost all my cool clothes in the fire! <laughs> Now the fire department has to go inside the building and make sure it's all safe for us before we return. And guess what? That's time we don't have. That might take all night. Howie! Huh? I'm, uh, well, yeah. Yeah? Did you go to the drugstore? No. Get those breathing strips like I told you? No. I, I mean, yeah, yes. Breathe and clear, sir. All right, good hustle. Thanks, coach. <laughs> the rest of you guys are going to hustle onto the bus. And I'm gonna try to figure out who started this fire! What kind of basketball team burns down their own hotel? <laughs> On the bus. Everybody. You can't leave me hanging like that. <laughs> Wait, what what you mean? Come to our game again. Da da da, that's all you said. Oh. <laughs> I'm sorry, my bad. Um, I'm in our game against the Memphis Hustle. It's our last row game, the classic. Playing in the old school gym in Nice Town. Yeah, yeah, I'll definitely be there. Can't wait to see you. What's wrong? <sighs> Nothing, just um, the road, this game. You're on the right path, AI. The bigger vision, it's there. Yeah, that's what Big Toonie keeps saying. What? Big Toonie? That's like seeing Bigfoot or Einstein and they had an encyclopedic knowledge of the Eurostep. You <laughs> met him? Yeah, yeah, I actually met him a couple times. Okay, and this is the first time that you're telling me? This is the first thing we're talking about when I get into Night's Down. All right, get some sleep. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that uh, that might be a problem. How come? Mm, well, uh, there was a fire at the hotel. What, are you okay? Yeah, yeah, everybody's, everybody's totally fine. It's just, um, you know, just a crazy accident. Uh, but, you know, we sleep on the bus tonight, so. Never a dull moment. Ha <laughs> ha! That was nice. That was nice. Alright guys, that's it man. I'll see you later. Ha ha! Ha ha! About to take down, you already know Get the fuck out of my face now, yeah you gotta go Man I'm on the chase now, leave me on my own